Hey, what's going on, guys? We are back at the tabletop with another Triple P Double B update. The Poverty Pony Pistol Budget Blaster. If you guys aren't familiar, you haven't checked out the previous videos on this, make sure you go and do so. If not, uh, we're basically seeing uh, how much of an AR pistol we can make cobbled together uh, with $450-ish, basically $450 and under, preferably. But again, if you're like $456, $73 or something, you know, it's it'll be all right. Um, but we're seeing how functional we can get an AR pistol for around 450 bucks just to see if we could do it, uh, especially in today's pricing between the scamdemic, the mostly peaceful protesting, and the completely and totally fair non-rigged elections that take place here in this country lately. Uh, guns and ammo and accessories and everything are at a premium as well as being very hard to find. Uh, so plus a lot of people don't have a lot of money at their disposal or at least as of right now. So, you know, what can you do? If you got 450 bucks, we feel that's a pretty fair, reasonable limit uh, to be able to build out a functioning gun for life and liberty, self-defense, home defense, uh, you know, whatever it may be. So I chose, you could do whatever. It's got to be an AR pistol. Uh, it's got to be around, again, 450 bucks, but you can completely build it with whatever parts you want, however you want. Uh, and then we're actually going to test these guns, try them out, shoot them, and put them up against each other. Currently, it is me, Kyle, Kevin, Saul... Uh, we got Armed Ape that has uh, threw his hat into the ring, and I believe even Drew, maybe, from Access to Freedom. Um, I don't, We don't know yet on that. He says, oh, I already poverty ponied a pistol and, you know, whatever, but I don't know. I'm calling you out, Drew. Join join up, man. Let's, let's see what you got, bro. Um, but anyway, anyway, we, we are here, and uh, this is the update, right? So what's updated? You guys seen the lower? In case you haven't. Uh, it's a, again, Anderson Manufacturing Lower and Lower Parts Kit, Anderson Buffer and Buffer Tube, you know, it comes as a set, whatever. Uh, 3D printed brace, awesome. We got the sling mounts there. It does lock into place with a bolt. I believe it's an M8. Uh, don't, don't quote me on it. Little Trinity Force uh, upgraded pistol grip. Uh, I guess, you know, from an A2 for sure. Uh, it's a little bit more narrow, a little bit shorter, a little bit straighter. I like it. It feels good in the hand. Uh, that was a donation from Scales. This was also a shout-out to Huge, huge, huge shout-out. Shout-out to Huge Scales. <laughs> it's a huge shout-out to Scales uh, for hooking up the, the, the printed brace. I am capable of doing this. My printer was broken at the time, so he hooked it up and printed it for me. Very, very much so appreciated. Um, do finally have 300 blackout mags. Uh, you can use standard 5.56.223 AR-15 magazines with uh, your 300 Blackout AR-15. However, they do say that the designated 300 Blackout ones, I think they have a slightly different follower uh, from a 5.56 mag or whatever. They're supposed to work better, supposed to be more reliable. I know plenty of people that have used 5.56 mags for 300 Blackout and have never had a problem. So we'll see. So you guys have seen this is the ammo that Kevin um, was gracious enough to donate to the build since 300 blackout is super hard to come by, or at least hard enough to come by, and especially for a fair and reasonable price. Uh, these are supersonics, and then this bag is subsonic. So I got 40 rounds, 40 rounds, I can get a mag, mag and a half, you know, a little bit, mag and a couple rounds, um, or two 20 round mags, but I'd have to use five, five, six mags, not my new dedicated uh, Magpul 300 blackout mags. I got five of them again. Uh, you know, decent little loadout, one in the gun, four on a rig or something, in a chest rig or on a plate carrier, or in a duffel bag or whatever. Um, should be enough to take care of whatever situation it may be. Because if this proves reliable, which we are definitely putting it through its paces, uh, it might end up being like a little bag gun with me, you know, in the truck or whatever. Um, at all times kind of thing, just because, you know, I'm not worried about it getting beat up or dinged or rusted or, God forbid, it gets stolen. Uh, you know, I'm not too worried about it because of the price of entry, uh, the price of admission. Uh, we over here have 3D. I 3D printed this after my printer uh, fixed and it, or fixed itself. Really, uh, let's see if we can get it in focus. This is uh, a 45 degree M lock offset mount. You can put whatever you want on there. It's actually printed really, really clean. I'm gonna have to do a better. Uh, tabletop over at the other tabletop with better lighting and kind of show you guys some of this cool uh, 3d printing stuff we've been doing lately but uh, there's that that's an option don't know what I'll use that for or what I could use that for um, here's an update here's an update with this VG6 muzzle brake that's going uh, it's the cheapest thing you can see we got the prices too okay so actually 39 so 130 plus 39 bucks 40 bucks so 170 bucks basically 
um, for for this, and I don't even have an upper. Where's the upper? Hmm. Where or where is that upper? I'll tell you where the upper is. The upper is right here, and huge freaking shout out to Bear Creek Arsenal. <laughs> here's the freaking upper <laughs> super sweet sticker love the sticker one of my favorite colors toxic green that's awesome sweet little bear wouldn't want to come across that guy in the woods uh, especially if he was hungry because he would get a snack out of my fat ass <laughs> so here's the upper here's how it comes uh cool you know this just left on my doorstep like it should be in any normal you know american city town wherever uh the only thing is I, I mean, I don't know. It's it's kind of in-your-face branding for a box that a lot of people are going to be seeing handling your mail that might be slightly nefarious and, you know, leaving it on the doorstep or whatever. Um, I don't know. If people know what this is, they know what it is, they might snag it. Obviously, there's no serial number because it's an upper, uh, and there shouldn't be a serial number. There really shouldn't be serial numbers on any firearms. Um, but anyway, you know, it is what it is. That's all I took away from it, that, hey, you know, the box is a little loud, might uh, intrigue, intrigue some people that uh don't need intriguing so i don't know that doesn't make any sense now that i think about it so let's bust her open right here let's bust her open buster sweet i am loving this i am loving this already super sick basically the same exact upper as kyle's gun uh it is a seven and a half inch barrel free floated m lock uh which comes with a standard a2 bird cage but i am going to since this is a 30 caliber gun 300 blackout it's a shorter gun i did get the muzzle break i i sprung for the break you know even though it's it's a we're trying to keep the the cost low right but i sprung for the break because i think this might make a difference in the shootability of the firearm uh being a shorter 30 caliber gun this might help with recoil quicker follow-up shots whatever uh plus it looks pretty cool so we'll see that we'll get that guy on there tomorrow and uh, maybe do another update video or whatever i don't know exactly when you guys are going to be seeing this but free floated m lock we got pick rail up top the rail everything is center everything is square the fit and finish on it actually looks really really good you can buy this upper in pretty much any caliber from bear creek arsenal right now on their website uh for 199.99 or like 215 220 bucks it is complete it is a side charger so you don't have a charging handle uh in the rear traditionally you do have your standard side charger there which also works as a forward assist cool 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 um a little bolt allen key you know i'm assuming to take that out to be able to pull the bolt out the rear which is nice uh it's captive with it's captive with that uh the side charger in there uh and then this is just a piece to replace the open hole from where your standard traditional charging handle would be um so super super sick huge shout out to bear creek arsenal for sending this out uh i hit them up and i told them what i was doing and we're trying to do these builds um and see how how good of a gun we can get for how cheap of a price and they were more than willing um and happy to send me out one for you know messing around with i do get to keep this this is not you know i'm not going to be biased by any means if this has problems you guys are going to hear about it and we really are going to test this um but it's super cool to them. It really helps out being a smaller channel to, to have opportunities like this and to be able to produce content for you guys that is both entertaining and educational because not a lot of people have a bunch of money and uh, they might be looking at something like this, which is more of an entry-level piece of equipment. It's entry-level priced. And uh, is this worth it? Is this going to be a solid option for the money? And uh, we're going to figure that out here and let you guys know. Boom, baby. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. That's actually a pretty snazzy looking uh, little AR pistol right there if I've ever seen one. Uh, we are going to paint this gun. I don't know why I'm saying we. We're all painting our guns, but I specifically am painting my own gun. And I don't have a mouse in my pocket, but <laughs> I, I am painting this gun. I'm not exactly sure on the scheme yet. I thought I might want to do like some snow camo stuff. That'd be kind of cool, I think. I've never snow painted a gun before. Um, but also I, I like kind of like the Ranger green. And, you know, maybe like a Vietnam tiger stripe kind of thing. I don't know. But you can see it's on the, the upper is on the gun. Uh, lower, you know, and upper frame receiver fit. You can see there's a little bit of gappage in the back there, but it's it's on there. You know, it's not, it's, a, it's got a little wobble, but most ARs do. Uh, everything functions. We'll see, we'll give you a little function check right here. Okay, so 
Very smooth, honestly. The bolt feels really, really smooth. It's easy to actuate. Got the safety. All right, so safe, doesn't fire. Actually, not a bad trigger. Let's see, reset. Nice reset. Nice, clean, crisp break. Not the lightest, but nice and crisp for sure. I'm liking that, man. Everything lines up really, really well um, between the, the upper. The rails are lined up perfectly. Um, the bolts, bolts are all flush. You know, it's not the snazziest, most fancy design or whatever. Pretty simple. A lot of companies are doing this. A lot of AR manufacturers, parts, rails, they all look the same. Simple M-Lock stuff, okay? You'll be able to bolt on whatever you want. Um, I could bolt on this freaking offset 3D printed mount, have a light or something hanging off of it. Um, or I could reverse this, have a dot or something hanging off of it. That's cool. You know, I could basically print those at infinitum in whatever color I want, but I guess it doesn't matter if I'm going to be painting it. Um, uh, but that's cool. The gun doesn't lie, you know, on its side the best with the, well, I guess it does in that, in that aspect. That's pretty good. Uh, 3D printed a couple little sets of sights, but, um, Actually, Scales 3D printed this for me, uh, the front and the rear. But this this is what I was going to use for irons. But uh, the front the front broke, and uh, this is all I'm left with. So I might reprint those. I uh, have a set just to mess around with. But I am going to be finishing this out with some irons from Amazon. And <laughs> we're going to see how if those are worth it. Supposedly they're metal, they're aluminum, and uh, flip up and adjustable. And then actually, you know, I'm going to have some light laser stuff going on. Maybe even a dot if we can get the funds in. So again, the, the upper is 200 bucks, right? Now I didn't have to pay for mine, but they're all making me count it towards the goal of the $450 mark. So again, 130 um, plus 40, so 170 plus 200, so... That's 270 bucks, 270, or no, I'm sorry, 270 bucks, 370 bucks out of $450 left, so I should be able to definitely get some iron sights and some, maybe some red dots and some lights and some lasers, freaking sharks with laser beams, man, but I'm liking this, the, uh, the fit and finish on it for $200 is above my expectations, it went on the gun, it's fine, the, the pins are nice and tight on the gun, it cycles really, really smooth, locks back, bolt release, sorry for bumping the tri tripod, guys, um, but it works, obviously, I have no rounds through this gun, um, but so far, initial impressions, I actually really, really dig it, so yeah, super happy so far. And again, huge, huge, huge shout out to Bear Creek Arsenal. Uh, it's absolutely awesome that uh, that you guys sent this out. And uh, we're going to try it out. We're going to see you know, how well it works. And honestly, from what I'm seeing, from how it feels so far, very simple mechanism. You know, you don't need anything proprietary. It'll work on any standard AR-15 lower. Um, and then you just have a, a side charging handle instead of... Uh, a, a rear ambidextrous charging handle or potentially ambidextrous charging handle but this is fine with me having it come off the right side of the gun and I actually I do believe they offer opposite side for left-handed shooters uh, I think those are available but I'm going to load the mag for one you know you could do that and drop the bolt but if i did have to clear a malfunction or run the gun or whatever i'm used to rolling the gun and running it like this like an ak and plus that already puts the ejection port towards the ground so if i am clearing a malfunction that's going to help get that nonsense out of the chamber and uh, load a good one back in there so i am actually digging this quite a bit and for a little truck gun a seven and a half inch gun like this 300 blackout unfortunately in illinois you cannot have a suppressor legally constitutionally i would argue but yeah i digress but as far as being a nice short uh nice short little gun little bag gun boom throw it in the mystery ranch asap pack that work perfectly fit perfectly be deployable ready to go um shout out to mystery ranch they sent this out this thing is awesome it's getting decked out we're in the process of loading this thing out and uh i keep saying we i don't know why i keep saying we uh when it's just me one is the loneliest number. Uh, too much digression, not enough progression, I suppose. I suppose. I suppose, people. Uh, but yeah, the, the upper is in. So now uh, we are inching closer to the final build. And then the testing process begins. Uh, Saul of the Pew Pew Dudes, make sure you check out his channel, um, has commissioned this. 
from tactical scales. He uh, he is doing a Poverty Pony pistol budget blaster. However, it is all going to be pink. So uh, got himself a uh, 3D p printed brace in the pink color to match his rifle uh, pistol. Uh, same exact one that I have, although this one came out a little bit cleaner, it looks. Uh, maybe it's just the color. But yeah, he's got the brace going on there. So uh, I don't know exactly how we're counting the braces. I, you can buy these off Etsy and stuff for a few bucks. We all have printers. So do we not cost ourselves anything with it? But either way, I got 370 bucks into the gun. And the rest is going to be left for optics, uh, iron sights, flashlight, laser, whatever. It does have to have some kind of aiming device. And... Uh, we're going to figure that out. i got some cool stuff in the works for that. I could even throw the carry handle on there. That would look pretty cool. Oh, give me a second. Should I throw the freaking carry handle on there? <laughs> that actually looks pretty sick. Obviously, i got to get a front sight yet, but that actually looks pretty sick. I'm actually really not mad at that whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know exactly how the Zero is going to work out, having the carry handle with the short sight radius. Uh, and this is off my 20-inch 5.56 Colt. The, uh, the A4, but that, that is a pretty sick little look. That does not look half bad. That does not look half bad at all. And then a little Vietnam Tiger Stripe or something on there. I have to find a, a cheap enough front sight and also one to get out of the way. Actually, I think this is the Strat. Leave it in the comment section below if the carry handle is the Strat. Irons, white light, perhaps a laser so we could do the dance in the dark if we ever get some night vision capabilities and find ourselves in a free state where we can have cans. Hmm. I'm sorry for all the jump cuts, people. No, I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, this thing is coming together. This is super cool. Um, and I, I don't know what they're going to charge me for a carry handle. I don't know what you could get a carry handle for. I think you probably get a UTG one for maybe 20 30 bucks or whatever. But $370 bucks, uh, with the completed gun, functional, operational, uh, loadable, shootable, uh, without pretend the carry handle's not on there. I might leave that on there and actually run that. That would be sick. Um, but 370 bucks so far. And I could point shoot it down a hallway in defense of life and liberty uh, and, and whatever obviously ammo we're not counting ammo into the factor uh, of of you know how much money because obviously that is crazy especially in today's day and age but functioning gun we have to have some kind of aiming device on there and you guys are going to see in the next update um but shout out to everybody that's participating shout out to everybody uh that is helping out with this stuff you know with the 3d printing and the different stuff the accoutrement and uh i, I think it's super fun we're having a good time doing it huge shout out to bear creek arsenal again guys make sure you go check them out um we're gonna see we're gonna see how this stuff holds up i'm liking it so far it seems smooth the other thing too is this freaking barrel on this thing look at the barrel um under the hand this is a heavy barrel to say the least this is thicker than a snicker my dude um super cool super cool that should give us some good structural integrity some rigidity some in theory better barrel life um i'm digging it very much so appreciate it all you guys watching bear creek arsenal uh all my supporters all you guys that have been here from the beginning are just joining us now make sure you smash the like button make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss a video because we're going to be doing updates on this stuff and everybody else's uh, configuration when it's all said and done here. And then we're going to start testing them, getting them on the range and throwing them in mud and snow and whatever. We'll see. Who knows? So make sure you stay tuned. But the most important thing, if you gather anything from this video, it is to live free. Uh, perhaps buy a 3D printer. You know, stop asking permission for your rights. Whatever. Whatever. You know, again, digressing. But what you can do is check the first three links in the description box below because those are to help you. Fight for your God-given, constitutionally protected, and reaffirmed, but inalienable and inherent by birth gun rights, okay? Because without these, can't do anything about the tyranny. And if there's tyranny, then this isn't America. But anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Uh, if you want to support the channel, check any of the pin links in the comment section below or in the description box below. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.